Kenya is a land of diversity. For the next two years, you will live and work in Kenya. To help prepare you for your Peace Corps service, you will participate in an 11-week training program at the U.S. Peace Corps Training Center in Naivasha, Kenya. Naivasha is located 60 miles from Nairobi. A small town, Naivasha is populated by farmers and business people. Naivasha also is a major tourist center. During your stay in Naivasha, you'll be able to enjoy the local sites, like climbing an extinct volcano on weekends. But most of your time will be spent in training. You'll learn how to speak Kiswahili, the lingua franca of Kenya. Almost daily, you and other trainees will study in a small group with a language instructor in order to achieve basic conversational fluency. You'll learn about Kenya. You'll develop skills in your technical field of specialty, and you'll examine ways in which you can become an effective development worker. In addition to training at the center, you'll go on field trips to visit Peace Corps volunteers and to see development programs in operation. You'll also learn basic life skills, such as to repair that Peace Corps issue bicycle that many of you will be depending on for transport once you are posted in the field. Your trainers will include Americans, all of whom have been volunteers in developing countries, and most of whom have worked for a variety of government and private development agencies. And Kenyans, all which have extensive language and cross-cultural training experience. By having a binational training team, we aim to provide you with a range of perspectives on your new lifestyle, your volunteer service, and development work in Kenya. Peace Corps staff will be very involved in your training, working with the training center staff to design training, leading training activities, and participate with you in discussions. During your training in Naivasha, you'll be advised on all your relevant medical needs and practices by the Peace Corps medical staff, and you'll participate in a regular periodic immunization program. Your learning will be supported by your homestay, an important aspect of your training. By living with a Kenyan family, you'll have many opportunities to learn basic life skills in adapting to your new environment, to develop your understanding of Kenya and its people, and to make lasting friendships. You will live with a Kenyan family for three months. Your homestay experience will begin within 48 hours of your arrival in Nairobi. You'll spend one night in Nairobi, be transported to Naivasha where you'll have lunch at the training center, and then you'll move to your new home to become acquainted with your Kenyan family. Your education will begin here. You will learn to live without some conveniences. You probably won't have electricity. Lanterns or pressure lamps are commonly used, with kerosene fuel purchased at local gas stations. Your methods of cooking will change. Some Kenyan families have a gas stove. However, they would use it only for special occasions because the cost of fuel for everyday cooking is prohibitive. Alternatively, 
Most Kenyan families cook with charcoal or wood on a small hibachi style cooker or an open hearth. You'll hand wash your clothes and linens, hang them out to dry, and then iron them with a charcoal heated iron. You become adept at fetching water, perhaps from a rainwater catchment tank, and you'll learn how to bathe with only a bucket of water in order to conserve this precious resource. You'll also learn how to travel in Kenya by means of public transportation, by commuting to and from your home stay each day. A trip that one way will consume from 30 minutes to one full hour of your time. The relationship you establish with your family and the extent to which you will learn from them will depend on your own initiative. Sometimes you will learn without even realizing it, by your involvement in household activities, by observing how your family lives, and by interacting with them during free time. With your days spent in training and your nights at your homestay family, your free time will become precious. But if you manage your time efficiently, you will have free time, perhaps an hour or two in the evenings and certainly on weekends. A very important part of your stay in Kenya will be the bonds that you establish with other Peace Corps volunteers. The friendships that you make in training will last most of you long after your assignment in Kenya is over. This particular group of volunteers were in training during the holidays and were able to use the kitchen facilities to cook their Thanksgiving dinner, with most of the volunteers assisting with the preparation of the meal. Usually at least once or twice, you'll be allowed to stay overnight at the training center to relax and develop these friendships further. Additionally, the training center is open on most weekends. You can use the library facilities or just talk with other trainees. If you are a sports enthusiast, you may want to join in on games of football, soccer, frisbee, or volleyball. Cards, Trivial Pursuit, and Ping Pong are also available. Despite these lulls, you will work hard during training because you will work hard as a Peace Corps volunteer. Some trainees initially believe that if they can get through training, then Peace Corps service will be a breeze. On the other hand, most of the volunteers state that however difficult training may be, it is only the first step in Peace Corps service, a prelude of what is yet to come. And for me, I think the most, va the most valuable part about training was um, the homestay experience because um, I learned a lot of the language at training and a lot of the culture, but it only gave you a general background and at the homestay you really get the specifics and it was really good and I enjoyed that part of it. And also training was kind of intense and a little bit long, but after it was all over with and you got to your site and you realized that you wanted to see all the people you trained with a lot, you realized a lot of the connections you made with people and a lot of the support groups. <coughs> support you got from everybody and you start to miss it a lot more than you thought you would and it was good and I enjoyed it. Learning a language is great because you, you, learn, you learn a little, you get to go out and use it and you see the benefits of knowing, you know, it's, it's so different from being a tourist because you, you're really part of the culture when you can communicate in a natural language. I think that was one of the best the highlights of training is when you just make these great friends that um, some of the people that you meet, you wouldn't normally befriend in the States. And when you come to Kenya, you make these, these just wonder, you meet wonderful people. And, uh, and your support group, you just become very tight with all these new people that you've met. And then just sometimes we had parties, or we'd go on outings, or we'd go climbing mountains together, or camping out and stuff. And, and it was just always a really good time. Or we'd go out, and we'd have a few drinks after training during the days. And we'd go to the bar, and we'd have very interesting conversations. <laughs> I remember getting off the Matatu and thinking, oh my god, what had I, have I gotten myself into? And thinking that first week, can I do this for three months? And in hindsight, on the last day, uh, leaving my homestay family, it was sad. It was like leaving a family in the States, I would say. It was a good time. I enjoyed it. And, uh, 
I thought the training was uh, very good. I learned a lot of things that I'm using now. I think the most valuable thing with the training was uh, when we lived with the host family. I lived with a Kikuyu family for three months and got a chance to to see how the people live, how to get along with them, eat some of the food, get used to that. In training, they taught us um, a number of different subjects. Uh, one was what they call technical training. Um, for us water techs, that included how to construct ferro-cement water tanks and jars. Also, um, principles in the physics of water. In general, I, I thought the whole thing was the experience of training and the homestay was just a lot of fun. Uh, to, before you really need to get down to work, in the Peace Corps you have this couple of months to learn about the people you're working with and to build up a support network of friends, people who you can visit in the future. Uh, and in the homestay you're learning about the Kenyan families. And my family and I, we had a great relationship. We had fun, we did things together. Uh, I took the family mountain climbing one day, which was something I'll always remember from my Peace Corps experience. The challenges of being a Peace Corps volunteer are many. Most of you will live and work under circumstances that will tax your endurance, patience, and creativity. But by being flexible and responsive to local ways of doing things, by making do with whatever resources you have available to you, by taking the initiative to go to the people instead of waiting for them to come to you, and by realizing that you will learn as much from Kenyans as you will teach, you might just find these next two years to be perhaps the most challenging, yet the most rewarding you may ever experience. We, the U.S. Peace Corps Training Center staff, welcome you to Kenya. <laughs>